Hey team, welcome back to the channel, man. So today we're gonna talk about ADP 2-0. Let's get to this. So ADP 2-0, of course, is intelligence. And we're gonna break down uh, what's in the ADP as well as uh, some standard uh, type of questions that you might be asked should you be attending a board. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that uh, the ADP, I have it pulled up right here. It's only 88 pages, so most ADPs are short like that and uh, easy enough to to read and skim through a little bit make sure that uh, you stay up to date on your knowledge so that you can master your craft and develop uh, who you are as an NCO as a soldier as a leader right so ADP 2-0 is intelligence easiest way to remember that of course is that the 2 uh, just think about S2 it's Intel uh, you know and it's not that again it's not that big of a of a manual so and most ADPs are not because they're they're broad in in uh, spectrum if you will looking at the table of contents you only have uh, five chapters in this thing right so you have uh, chapter one which is operations and intelligence chapter two which is Intel support chapter three which is the Intel process chapter four uh, Intel capabilities and then chapter five fighting for intelligence so you can see again it's broad in scope and spectrum um, and it's not going to dig into the weeds on anything in particular so let's start looking at this a little bit more and then we'll try to help make some sense of this as we keep going if there are some questions some comments some current concerns if i can learn how to read make sure you leave them down in the comments below that way we can continue to master our craft and man and if intel is your thing then definitely would love to hear from you as well so we'll just keep this conversation rolling so we're going to pick up here looking at the intelligence process and i'll throw this up and so you can see it's kind of a OODA loop uh, if you will which is an old acronym uh, but the intel process is to plan and direct collect and process produce and then disseminate and then that just continues and on the inside of that circle you can see where we're going to cons uh, consistently analyze and then assess and that in and of itself is the intelligence process this is what the dudes in the intel business are constantly doing and it, it's a loop constantly cycling it, it's never complete if you will because things always change as we're going to see when we talk about uh, operational and uh other variables that we have out there speaking of uh, operational variables now there's operational variables and there's mission variables most of what all of us uh, at the battalion level and below are going to be dealing with are going to be mission variables and of course that's mission enemy terrain troops time and civil considerations met TC at, at echelons above, we're talking about operational variables. And as you can see here, we have political, military, economic, social, information, infrastructure, physical environment, and time. Very correspond, very much so, right? It's just a different ac acronym, PMESI PT. And that's something that you should know, especially uh, if you start working in the operations process, right? The next step, looking at the Army strategic roles. we got shaping the environment, preventing conflict, prevailing during uh, LISCO or large scale combat operations, and then consolidating gains. And so this is basically uh, the strategic uh, method, if you will, or the role for how the Army wants to win. And so what is intelligence? So the purpose of intelligence is uh, intelligence is a product, it's a process, it's a function that enables the army to conduct operations by supporting the commander in command and control, right? So commanders rely on a lot of different types of products to get after their business. And intelligence is one of those things. It's a war fighting function. You may hear that from time to time and is going to directly impact the operations process, which is to plan, prepare, execute, and assess. So you should know that because that's going to feed into all types of questions. You know, what's the operations process? Plan, prepare, execute, and assess. Right. So the intel process provides the basis for common intelligence terminology terminology and procedures it consists of six interrelated categories and intelligence operations so we got planning and direction collection processing and exploitation 
analysis and production, dissemination and integration, evaluation and feedback. And again, this is constantly happening in a loop. All right, so there's all kinds of intelligence disciplines out there. This is going to include things that people do on the ground, whether it's human. It's going to include uh, signals intelligence. It's going to include uh, geo intelligence. It's going to include uh, measurement and signal intelligence. It's going to include open source intel um, and technical intelligence. So there's all types of things. And this is areas where people are gathering information. They're analyzing it. And they're trying to understand it more and turning it into something that the commander needs in order to make a decision, right? In order to make decisions, right? And so before we move on to uh, some more standard board-styled questions, if you like the content, if you want to stay up to date on some future content, then uh, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date on that future content, all right? And again, leave some comments down below on some areas that you need or think we all need some assistance on. So moving into some standard questions, right? So what does ADP 2- cover? Of course, it covers intelligence. That is such a, a typical standard easy question. Uh, some board members may not even ask that because they're gonna assume that you know, but you should know so that you can frame it in a part of your answer. For example, first sergeant, in accordance with ADP 2-0, uh, the intelligence process enables bada boom bada bing, right? Uh, it go, of course, you know, if you read through, it's going to, ADP 2 is going is to cover risks and hazards. And uh, hazards, of course, are conditions that may destroy life or prevent mission accomplishment, right? If you just think, you know, what, what are hazards, man? These are things that may prevent mission accomplishment. Boom, you got it. All right, so what is intelligence? Intelligence is the collection, processing, uh, integration, evaluation, analysis, and interpretation of information concerning uh, foreign nationals, hostile, potentially uh, hostile forces. So a big, long answer, right? So at the end of the day, intelligence is the collection of information and then processing it in order to uh, provide command and control to the commanders so they can make decisions and win America's wars, right? Uh, what does the function, uh, what does the warfighting function provide? The warfighting function of intelligence provides intelligence to commanders in order to plan, prepare, execute, and assess, right? That is the operations process. What are the two most important areas or aspects of intelligence? And that's enabling commission command and providing support in, in order for them to make decisions. And those are probably the most top intel type questions that you may ask. You may be asked some situ situational questions. Uh, for example, maybe how do you enable uh, the intelligence process? And you may not really feel like you have a role or know or believe that you have a role. Uh, but you need to know that you provide information uh, regardless of what your MOS is, regardless of what your unit is, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis is providing feedback to your intelligence folks in order for them to be able to process it in conjunction with other outside information, if, you, if that makes sense, in order to feed in that information to the commander for him or her to be able to plan, prepare, execute, and assess those specific operations. So regardless of what you do, you have, you have an aspect or a role. So what do you do? I mean, I don't care if you're a cook. You know, you provide feedback based off of what you see and what you are encountering in your operations. And all of that feedback feeds back up into the intelligence warfighting function in order to support commanders. So, again, we all, we all have some kind of a role to play. So I hope you did enjoy uh, the little uh, mini session, if you will, on ADP 2-0, which, of course, is intelligence. Again, man, leave some comments down below. Uh, make sure you share this out with a battle buddy or friend. And again, leave some comments so that I can continue to master my own craft of bringing the best information out here uh, to the channel and to the YouTube verse. I appreciate all you guys, man. You stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked. Mm -hmm.